So Matthew 21, verse 18 through 22. In the morning, as he, and that's Jesus, was returning to the city, he became hungry. And seeing the fig tree by the wayside, he went to it and found nothing on it but only leaves. And he said to it, may no fruit ever come from you again. And the fig tree withered at once. I want you to just try to wrap your mind around the fact that this is the God man. And often I think to myself, what would it have been like to be in the heavenlies in eternal glory, fully God, and now you are going to limit yourself Your godness, fully God, is going to be stuffed in about what? 170, 175 pounds of human flesh and bone and muscle. And you're suddenly subject to all the things the physical body has to have. You thirst. You've got to have food to eat. And you've got to have rest. And so how annoying to be God and to have to walk up to a fig tree and it's got no fruit on it. And I thought, isn't it interesting that it says it has a lot of leaves but no fruit because I think that speaks a lot about the church today. If I could be so bold, man, we got us some leaves going, don't we? We got us some leaves, but where is our fruit? Because leaves can be really misleading. But Jesus said, you will know a tree by its fruit. No figs on this tree. So, I mean, he just curses the thing and it just, that's it. Don't, don't even. And next time I walk past you, you better be dead. <laughs> and so it says in verse 20, when the disciples saw it, they marvel saying, how did the fig tree wither at once. And Jesus answered them, look at this, truly I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what has been done to the fig tree, but even if you say to this mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea, it will happen. Somebody say it will happen. happen. Whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. I wonder how long it's been for you. I wonder how Many people in this room had really given fully to the thing, but a mountain didn't move, and you decided maybe this thing is just going to be about doing the right thing, and maybe it's got nothing to do with faith at all. Only the scripture says over and over again, without faith, it is impossible to please him. And this is a call to come back to our faith. Now, we are not those original disciples But we are Jesus followers today. And I do believe in Jesus' name that when it came to obstacles that got in our way of doing what Jesus has called us to do and being who Jesus has called us to be,